everyone. It's that thing where I talk about things. The first thing that I have been loving is the SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. And this is, I think, the smaller bottle that they make. I have been using this morning and night before I put on any kind of moisturizer and I have just felt like my skin feels better. It feels more balanced and I just really like it. I haven't noticed like a huge difference in my skin other than it feels better. So you can apply this with a cotton pad or you can just use your hands and pat it onto your face. I prefer to use my hands because I feel like it kind of gets wasted on the cotton pad because it absorbs really quickly. So that's why I like using my fingies. This is the La Mer hand treatment and I've been using this pretty much every single night before I go to sleep. And it's not my favorite hand cream that I've ever used, but I do like it enough to keep using it. This is a hand cream that I only enjoy using at night. It's too greasy for me to put on during the day. I just don't like that like silky feeling on your hands that this hand cream gives you, which is really nice when you're going to bed and you're not gonna be touching things. But during the day when I'm gonna be touching things, it just leaves like a film of grease over anything that you touch and I would just prefer not to have that. But the hand cream smells really nice. The packaging is beautiful. Before I go to bed, I like to relax myself as much as possible, do the things that make me feel really good, like putting on some hand cream, my rain sounds and reading. Ugh, I am in heaven. I also have a sleep mask that I put on and oh man, that is my sweet spot. The grandpa inside of me just really thrives in that environment. For cleansing my body, I have been, oh, I almost dropped that. <laughs> this is the Fresh Grapefruit Bath and Shower Gel. As a lot of you probably know, I love, love the Fresh Sugar Lemon Body Lotion. And I've also used the body wash, which I really like as well. And I've also used the shower gel but I've decided to, you know, switch up my shower gel scent a little bit. And this, oh my gosh, I think I like it better than the lemon shower gel, but I still really love the lemon body lotion. And the two put together just smell really nice when they're layered because I use this in the shower and then I put on the lemon body lotion afterwards and I'm like, oh my God, I smell great. I really feel like this is a great scent for everyone. Like a lot of fresh scents are actually this way. Um, where they don't skew too feminine or too masculine. They're just really refreshing um, because I actually know a couple guys that use this shower gel and the body lotion and they really love it. And it smells really good on them too. Like whenever I'm around them, I'm like, oh, you got this down. Another cleanser that I've been loving that is not for my body is the Liquid Beauty Blender Cleanser. And normally with things like this, I'm like, I don't need the branded cleanser for like my brush or my beauty blender, whatever. Usually I'm like, blah, I'll use my own. But I had such a hard time cleaning my beauty blender. Like I would use dish soap. I used so many kinds of dish soap. I was using shampoo. I tried a bunch of different things. It works really well. I have found that this is the best thing to clean my beauty blender and it gets the foundation out of it. All I do is use a little bit of warm water. I pump some of this out and I gently massage the beauty blender underwater and pretty much everything comes out. And I have had the same beauty blender for a while now because of this, because I've been able to clean it so well. And I'm really, really happy with this. I also recommend the solid cleanser um, if you're traveling, because that way you don't have to carry a huge bottle of liquid with you. You don't have to worry about it spilling and it works just as well. All right, so I have been really, really into this Becca eyeshadow palette. It's the Ombre Rouge Eye Palette. I'm wearing these two colors on my lids today. And I just really like this palette. I love that there's a mix of matte colors and then colors that have a little bit more of a satin finish to them, but they're not shimmery. It's small, it's thin, compact. I can easily take it with me. I love every color in here 
and I can create a bunch of different looks just from this one palette. So with all the travel that I've been doing, this has been an awesome palette to have. Another palette I've been loving is the Gwen Stefani Blush Palette, and I am a big fan of the eyeshadow palette, and so when I saw there was a blush palette, I was like, I'm in! It comes with six different colors, and the one that I've been using the most is this one right here called Lo-Fi, and it's somewhere between like a bronzer and a blush. I have it on my cheeks today. I like how natural this looks because I think if I were to like pinch my cheeks, this would kind of be the natural color that comes out, maybe a little bit more pink. Sometimes if I want more color out of it, I'll mix a little bit of Easy with it and put that like at the apples of my cheeks or OC, which is a shimmery peachy color. And I'll put that on the apples of my cheeks. I'm a fan. Mm -hmm. The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Naked 2 has been awesome. I sometimes wear this on its own because it's just a really nice natural looking matte color. So it adds a little bit of color to my lips. It stays on really well, but it's not like a super intense dramatic lip color. Now, if I want a little bit more something something, I will layer the lip pencil with Jouer's Lip Cream in Noisette. And I have both of these on today so you can see what they look like layered together. This is a grayy nude color that I really, really love. These lip creams stay on so well. They smell like cake. They're matte. I have eaten with this stuff on. I have had drinks with this stuff on. I've looked in the mirror thinking, oh my gosh, this is going to be a disaster. I don't even want to look at my lips right now. And it's been totally fine. The color's still there. It's so crazy when that happens and also the best surprise. So I have this color on my nails today. For being on for two weeks, the chips actually aren't that bad. Like I still have polish on most of my nails and the chips that do exist aren't terrible. This is the Chanel Organdy nail polish and Chanel I found out after just looking this color up because I was like, I love this color. Has anyone else been talking about it? I found out that they reformulated their nail polishes so their nail polishes are now like a gel formula so they're supposed to be longer wearing because I was like, oh my gosh, why does this nail polish wear for so long? I didn't know regular Chanel polish was so great, but they went through a whole reformulation, so that's why it's so awesome. I have been wearing this color, I wanna say for almost two months straight because I love it so much. It's just like the perfect nude, and I've never had so many compliments on such a neutral color before. Like you would think that this is something that most people would just overlook and not notice, but I've had so many people say to me, oh my gosh, I love the color of your nail polish, what is it? And I also have it on my toes as well because I love it that much. Eye drops. So these were actually given to me by Alex, AKA Dad Bay. If you follow <laughs> me on Snapchat, then you know what that means. For everyone else that does not know what that means, please let the other people in the comments know what and who Dad Bay is. So Alex is really awesome. One of my favorite people just in the world in general. He stares at a computer screen a lot. And so one day he gave me some and I was like, oh my God, this is so exciting. I'm getting a recommendation from Alex. I really love these eye drops. I use them um, whenever my eyes just feel dry or tired, usually like in the afternoon or if I'm waking up really early and my eyes are just like, not wanting to wake up, I will put these drops in and they just feel really cooling and refreshing. The feeling definitely takes some getting used to, especially if you've never used drops like this before. So it might feel like it's stinging, but it's actually cooling because it is kind of intense at first. Um, but I really, really like it. Also when I'm traveling, like on an airplane, awesome. For food, I have been eating lots of new and exciting things this month, and if you would like to see the things that I've been enjoying and maybe not enjoying so much, you should follow me on DISH, and that is spelled D-Y-S-H for everyone that isn't on DISH yet. DISH is really awesome because you are able to see 
food that is around you or in other areas on a dish level. So you can see what other people are eating, what they're liking, what they're not liking. And it's actually been a really great tool for me in terms of discovering what's around me or what's at the current restaurant that I'm at, especially if it's a place that I've never been before. I wanna see what other people are ordering so then I can base my order off of that. Dish also launched a new give back program called Dish Feeds. So every time you post a photo or you interact on Dish, you get points for that. And whenever you reach a new status level, Dish will donate a meal. And that is pretty cool. It's an awesome way that you can give back just by sharing your food and interacting with your friends online. Oh my gosh, books! I love books. Okay, can I tell you something? The first time that I heard someone say it's lit, I thought they were talking about literature and my actual response was, oh my God, literature, I love literature. <laughs> the literature that I have to share with you today, I think is very lit. It's lit? I don't even know how to use it, slit. I'm sorry. So the first thing that I have here is a book of poetry by Adrienne Rich, and it's called The Dream of a Common Language. And these are poems that she wrote from 1974 to 1977. I have really enjoyed reading this before bed. I love poetry in general, but I really like get in the mood for it before bed. I think it's because I just find it really comforting. I'm not diving into you know, a long-winded story and I'm able to sit with my feelings. Another reason why I love Adrienne Rich so much is because there are a lot of queer themes in her writing. Um, so that's pretty cool and also kind of exciting to read before bed, TBH. <laughs> I've also enjoyed this book called American Housewife, which is a book of short stories written by Helen Ellis and they are the stories of just different housewives. The thing that sold me on this book was the title of the first story called What I Do All Day. I'm like, literally, I would love to know what anybody is doing all day. You're able to get little glimpses into who someone is on this basic essential level just by seeing some of the things that they do throughout the day or reading about the things that they do throughout the day. You get a little glimpse inside who is inside this physical body, which I find really interesting. Also, the first sentence of the first story is this. Inspired by Beyonce, I stallion walk to the toaster. Sold. I was sold. I was like, I'm in. I am in, Helen Ellis. I am in. But I really love these stories. They are complex. They're witty. They're funny. Um, and also really interesting, too. So... Good read. For fashion, this is something that I never thought I would get into, but isn't that how life works? You never think you're gonna do something or like try something and, or like something and then you do. That's why I have decided to not live my life in nevers anymore. And you know what? It's been pretty great. So this is a choker that I got from H&M and it actually came with some pearls on it and another layer and I took the pearls off. It's just a simple black choker that goes around your neck. And I really like wearing this when I go out at night, if I feel like I want a little accessory to my outfit, because I don't wear a ton of jewelry. And honestly, the thing that makes me feel sexiest, like in terms of something that I can wear, I love turtlenecks. Like, I feel sexy AF in a turtleneck. I don't know, I think there's just something really beautiful about drawing attention to this area. I really like doing that on myself. Um, it just makes me feel good. So I have enjoyed this choker. Thanks H&M. That is gonna be it for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for even more videos coming your way. They're coming for ya. Yeah, they are. BT Dubs, as always, I will have links for everything that I talked about down below if you wanna check them out. Yeah, it's lunchtime. I need lunch now. <laughs> I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.